Hello Internet, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Uh, the update I want to show you this time is very visual, very obvious, uh, which means I'm just going to show you rather than tell you. But I also have to play just a little bit in order to... It's already in use very well, Ben... Benji, that's what my sister calls me. Uh, let's see. I don't know why. I don't know where that came from. Isn't that the name of like a dog in one of those... In some like old silly movie? About animals. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I played with this ship. I, I I thought, hey, I should play with a ship I don't usually play play with. Um, just to put another little ship in the demo. It's an unlockable ship. I don't if if you haven't played before, uh, you might not know. Oh, also before I even ramble about that though, I just want to say thanks again to is it Mark here or gosh, where's his name? He's on Steam. Mar Mark here. I don't know. It's got an I and then two E's. How do you say that? Anyway, um. <laughs> Uh, a guy on Steam, he offered to make a uh, video for me, a, a trailer for Mysterious Space, which is super awesome because I had been wanting one that, that bullets look really weird like that. <laughs> I was getting me mesmerized by the bullets. Uh, anyway, yeah, it, it's super awesome. I had needed one, and he was just like, yeah, I'll just make you one for free. Uh, I didn't accept for free. I bought him a game on Steam. But anyway, I just I just want to say thanks again. Um you know, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm happy with it, especially given that it was free. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's cool. I, I recorded some video, some gameplay for uh, him to use, so he could he could edit it down. You know, I recorded me playing several levels, uh, finding several bosses, and then he uh, put together this video. And uh, we went that the the one you see now is kind of the second attempt. The first one. I guess he realized some issues on, and then I made a couple suggestions, but it was it was his idea. I love this idea of having, like, you know, the music going, and then, oh, oh, you died, and everything just kind of stops. Uh, and that was awesome, so I, I made some suggestions to kind of play that up a, li a little more, because I thought that was pretty great. Um, but anyway, so that's up. So, yes, thank you, Mark Year. I, I need to ask him how he said his name. Um, but, yes, thank you, thank you. That was super nice of you. Um, anyway, uh, so yes, I decided to play this ship for this demo because uh, it's not in the in the uh, in the trailer, for example. Um, yeah, I'm just looking. Oh, look, a fourth magical fuel. Um, and so yeah, I thought I would specifically pick one that that people hadn't seen before, so that I could I could show you a little something extra. Anyway, I've got everything I need, so let's beat the level and let's see the new screen. So. This is now what happens at the end of every level. Uh, this is where you actually earn your points. Uh, there is There are some bugs with it uh, right now. So, for example, you can see that I have re received double the points. Don't, don't, let, never, never mind that. Don't pay attention to that. The point is, here's the cool screen. So the screen is, it, it, it does two things. Um, the main thing I wanted to do was to increase clarity to make things more obvious. For example, did you know that you lose points based on how long you're in the level? That has always been true. It's You, you lose a point every second. Uh, so I took 2 minutes and 20 seconds, 140 seconds, so it was 140 points. There is also this difficulty multiplier, and that is for... And it, that has also always been in the game, but you would have no idea. When you take a shorter path through the game, you receive more points. You, you get a bonus multiplier uh, according to how much longer it's going to take you to get, or how much quicker you're going to get to the mysterious source. And the reason for that is twofold. One, you are making the game harder for yourself by going through fewer levels. You would like to get more loot, because um, by going through faster, you're advancing in, in difficulty faster, like like the sorts of monsters that come up. So there has been always this, this little sneaky multiplier uh, to give you more points, to reward you for doing that, and also to kind of compensate you for doing that, because again, you're making life harder for yourself by skipping levels. Um, you should be rewarded. That multiplier can also be less than 100%. If you take a very slow path, then you might find levels are like, eh, you get 75% points or two-thirds points or whatever. Uh, so anyway, that was always true, but how would you know? You never would. So now it's there. Um, and even if you don't know why, you know, the game doesn't have to tell you why, I feel, because you will discover it. You'll be like, huh, this level is always double points. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should always go there? Well, maybe you shouldn't. Um, so anyway, that's there. And that does apply to the timer as well. So if you lost 140 points, you essentially lost 280 in this case because of the, of the doubling. So... The other effect that this has is that it means you do not get points during the level, um, and that's, I don't know, that's kind of a side effect. I wanted, 
I don't know. You know, I don't know. I just decided to do it at the same time. I don't know if this is a good change or a bad change or a neutral change. I just thought I'd go ahead and play with it. So you get zero points during the course of a level. You only get the points at the end of a level. Um, the big kind of effect this has is that if you die in the middle of a level, any points you had, you know, you, you don't have those points. So, so you really only get the points at the end of the level, which is kind of weird for the high score table. So I'm a little iffy on that point. Um, I think this is kind of even more important, though, for co-op, because in co-op, uh, you will see both of your scores and you can compare and you get different points kind of most points come from fuel and fuel points will always be shared so no matter who picks up the fuel you all get the points but the enemy kills you only get points for if you're nearby um, so if you guys split up it's possible one of you is killing more enemies than the other um, if you fight bosses you will you, in another clarity thing there are lots of things you don't get points for. You don't get points for killing those little guys that are buzzing around uh, the pickups. You don't get points for killing mini bosses. They, they're just there to make your life harder um, and slow you down, actually. So, so I might actually want to add, um, give them some points. Um, but anyway, I, I also restructured the points a little bit. It used to be that you got 200 points for a piece of fuel. Now I'm giving you 1,000, which is a lot more. But I have also reduced the points that you get from a lot of the enemies. Um, so. Really, I, and a lot of those changes I made because I realized once I put this together and saw it for myself, it, it showed me, for example, that the timer isn't doing much. Like, why even bother to lose points? You make up the points so quickly um, by killing enemies because enemies were just giving you so many. So they give you less now. Um, like, it used to be that that little guy um, that I killed two of, the spiky one that explodes, I think each one gave you 140 or something. It was something like that, points, for each one. So now you can see it's much less. I get 60 for each, so I got 120 for killing two of them. Um, to make the time matter a little more, uh, and also to kind of reemphasize the point. The point of the game is to get fuel. Uh, the point of the game is not to kill enemies, so that's what you get. Um, so anyway, that has been done. Again, in co-op, you can compare and then see who did a little better if you want. Not that there's anything for that. We could do a crown like Super Mario World. Super Mario 3. Well, I actually won't, won't do a crown, but, you know, it'd be interesting to compare uh, your scores and to add a little bit of, of competitiveness to the otherwise co-opness. Uh, you used to perfectly share points in co-op, by the way. Previously, it did not matter where you were on the screen, so that's a, another change. Anyway... This is kind of a big visual thing. Obviously, there's also going to be the two new mini bosses, uh, and I, I can't really show you these here. I haven't prepared for it. But anyway, I will have all of that done by either tonight or tomorrow, and and I will release probably tomorrow. I'll probably release tomorrow, even if I'm finished and satisfied tonight. I'll want to test one more time and everything to make sure I haven't introduced any terrible bugs. So, uh, let's say tomorrow. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, just that the mini bosses are in previous videos. So if you're curious to see the new whale mini boss, that's in a, and you haven't already, that's in a previous video. So it's not a big deal that I'm not showing them off here. Anyway, thank you as always for watching and for playing and for awesome feedback. Yeah, I I I, uh, I can't I can't wait to see how people uh, react to the mini bosses and everything. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you again. Goodbye.